Welcome to the Startup Showcase. I'm your host, Scott Katoon, and this is Technory Live from WGN Radio, where Chicago's top tech founders and entrepreneurs come to share their story. Sitting next to me, Showbiz Shelley. Welcome back. Hi, Scott. I feel like I haven't seen you in a very long time. I know. You know, it was like, well, we saw each other so many days in a row, and then it was like <laughs> burst, and then now we're back. So everything is everything is good, and you're back. Uh, how was your, what have you been doing while you've been gone? I know there you know was what? an I Aspen know. trip in there, wasn't there? Yeah, there was. There was an Aspen trip. Aspen. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I will never ski again in my whole life. I almost killed myself. And I'm not even kidding. I that doesn't surprise me. I feel terrible. <laughs> what do you mean? You that look like you're in pretty good shape for someone who almost died on a ski in a ski accident. Well, you should have seen. I couldn't feel these three fingers for a little while, so that yeah. was like the worst of it. I can feel them now, so they're okay. But that anyway, was the worst of it. You the worst died. of it is I almost died. <laughs> my fingers. Is I almost? Yeah, didn't have fingers. Um, so that happened. So I'm never gonna go skiing again. Um, but also, <laughs> since I last saw you, I met Taylor Kinney. I did oh, a very nice interview with Taylor yeah. Kinney. He's one of my favorites. I know. I, He's a very handsome man. And then also um, Joe Madden. I had the chance to meet Joe Madden, too, from the Cubs. Very cool. So, so this has busy. been a night. Yeah, this has been a good yeah. couple of weeks. Yes. Well, very cool. Uh, the, the other voice that you might have heard uh, while we're talking here is, well, Joe Parisi was the one that you heard the voice. Of. I don't think Adam said anything. No. Uh, we've got the co-founders of Guard Llama, who are fresh in from the Shark Tank, uh, Adam Havy, did you get it mm-hmm. right? Yep. Yes, I got a name right for once. And Joe Parisi, <laughs> uh, who wears a startup mink usually, but not today. Um, so we're going to kind of talk a little bit with uh, Showbiz Shelley here, and then we're going to kick it over to you guys and learn a little bit about your experience. I think uh, this is a perfect chance to mend together celebrity talk and, and sort of entertainment and tech and, and how it's become kind of ubiquitous tech in, in the in the like larger scheme of things. People are talking about tech companies and Shark Tank and investment and all this stuff. So uh, this is really a perfect little scenario here so i guess first i want to yes yeah so i want to catch up with you on you know what's going on in the celeb tech arena what's going on in events like catch us up so of course you know coachella is happening right now the big music festival in california so i love this a guy was stealing a bunch of people's iphones but they found him because they used the find my iphone app so see how you know he thought he was being smart but he wasn't being very smart so he was able. yeah i would have like i guess (laughs) i use my you know what the thing is like Every time I try to use it, it's worthless. Because every time I try to use it, the things I lose aren't on data. They are not, right? So it's just like sitting there. I left my <laughs> iPad on the roof of my car a couple of years ago, and I was driving to an appointment, <laughs> and it flew off, and I'm like trying to figure it out, and I, it's still... Somewhere. It's still it's somewhere. It's still on, on my iPhone. Oh, somewhere. it's it's in the sewer somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, they ended up catching this guy. But also, I was so excited, speaking of Coachella, to talk to you about this one, because I know you're going to love this. Kim Kardashian oh my God. has released a new set of emojis for Coachella. So excited for this, right? I know. I'm just I was I'm, she I'm would. over them. I mean, I've been waiting, <laughs> yeah. holding my breath. I know you have. So, you know, she has like the whole flower headband. <sighs> she has the eggplant floaty, which I, I can see you using. You All know? the time. All the time, right? And so she has this whole new line of them for Coachella. So if you are into Coachella, maybe you're going there, who knows, later on this week or something. And, and, and this is a great time to plug. Next week, we oh. have Sapphire Apps on the show next week, and they're the ones who actually are building these emojis for these celebrities. They actually really? built the emoji for, I don't know if anyone still listens to or knows, you know, cares about Lindsay Lohan, but when she's not doing drugs, she has an emoji. Yeah. Uh, and Sapphire, <laughs> Sapphire is building the app for, um, but at any rate, they build other people apps too. They're going to build, or not apps, emojis. They're going to build us some emojis too, I think, I hope. Maybe not after that little, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I just plugged him and then just like took him out of the knees. <laughs> Well, great, anyway, we're very happy company. to have them on, and we're very excited to work with them. Yeah, so good. I can't wait. And then, um, speaking of filters and emojis and all this stuff, Snapchat oh. unveiled its 3D filters today. Did you see this? Mm-hmm. I know you're. Not I really, saw of it. I I, I, I want to, and, and we're going to have Snapchat filters for Technori at some point. Yeah. Uh, but I just the Snap thing. It's not like me and it are just not jiving. Okay. Are you guys into Snapchat at all? A little bit? Eh? No, yeah. I got rid of mine. Yeah. I, got, just, I just brought yeah. it back. Yeah. You brought it back. I heard about the 3D filters. And right, right, right. <laughs> I, came running, I came running in to right. see what Kim Kardashian was going to do. <laughs> For me, see? it was just too easy to get in trouble. I wake up and I might have gotten a snap at like one in the morning of a hamburger, but I can't prove that it was a hamburger. You know? Yeah. Well, so yeah, yeah, like, who's you know, snapping you at one yeah. in the morning? And then I'm like, forget this. It's not worth it. That's I'm getting deep. rid of this. Yeah. yeah. Plus, too many responses to your fur coat, I'm sure. Well, right? So it's like out of control. You can't keep up with them. You can I used to get in trouble on Snap when they'd send the team thing. You know, like they send Snap team, send you a thing, like, here's the update. Oh, yeah. And I don't, I don't Snap. It's like I had a ring in the middle of the night with, here's your team update. I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> boom. Oh, my phone's broken. <laughs> uh, but in all seriousness, I have no idea how to use the damn thing. Right. So, well, anyway. the thing is with this, they're, they're 3D um, filters. So it's so cool. Like, literally, you put a word in your in your picture and you can walk around it or it, hmm. it like shows the backside 
it is. Are you guys it's listening? Really cool. Are producers listening? We need to add this to the rep- repertoire. I know that yeah. there's a producer on our team, John, John Rosin, who's taking pictures right now <laughs> on Snap. Right now? I think he's snapping at us right now. Hey, we're snapping. Yeah, he was supposed to man cool. up the Technori Snap, and then all of a sudden it just sort of uh, fell by the wayside. Well, now we should get back on it with those 3D. <laughs> Yeah, but we're we're filters. back in it. So, so. Um, but like you mentioned earlier, you have the Technori Showcase next week. So I always like to plug that. For of you. course, I like when you plug that. <laughs> uh, Tuesday the twenty fifth, we've got the, we've got. It's actually no, it's really going to be a great show, and I say that every time. But it really is going to be a great show. One, I'm going to break the news here. I guess I'm going to I'm going to mix it up a little bit. It's going to be a little bit different. Uh, setup of show as it normally has been. Uh, so if everyone doesn't like it, we'll never do it again. But uh, we're going to find out the uh, startup way, uh, which is to <laughs> fail first. Uh, and the keynote is Avant CEO uh, and Chicago entrepreneur uh, Al Goldstein, who's like, uh, he's worth a billion bucks at this point. He's got to be close to it anyway. Oh. He donated a few million bucks to Illinois, University of Illinois for their entrepreneur program. Uh, we've had other guests on here, TS to T uh, and a few other companies. They were funded by him when they were at University of Illinois. Um, and he's, you know, obviously Avant is a company that is now worth over, I don't know, is it $2 billion, $3 billion, whatever. Uh, so that's going to be really cool to see a, a homegrown company yeah. uh, in a keynote. And then the companies that are on stage are all the recent graduates of uh, The Generator. And if people aren't familiar with The Generator, they are, a Wisconsin, well, now Madison, Milwaukee, and Minneapolis-based uh, startup accelerator that have over 50 companies that they've graduated. And those companies, 60% of them, have raised at least one million dollars, or have been had an exit already. Oh wow! Which is like insane numbers uh, for the first fifty companies. So <clears throat> they're going to bring than the usual odds. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> right. Just just a touch. Yeah. Uh, so they're they're going to actually be here and bringing in five companies: uh, two from California, one from Boulder, one from Toronto, uh, and then of course someone from Madison. You have to have someone from Madison. So yeah. we'll let the Wisconsin people in. But uh, <laughs> at any rate, it's going to be a fantastic show. So thank you for plugging that. Um, of course. And now as we sort of transition into this show, I yeah. think it's a, it, like I said in the, in the beginning, this is perfect because, you know, you were just talking about how tech is sort of intermingling with celebrity and with entertainment and all sort of time. our normal life. It's all the time. Yeah. And, and all of these celebrities have to sort of keep up with, a, keep up with the Joneses, as they say. Yeah. And one of the ways that I think a lot of older, and I don't mean older, like actually older, but just people who are maybe not so in the know, uh, one of the ways that I think that they are learning about tech is Shark Tank. Absolutely. And and yeah. yourself included, a huge Myself fan. Myself included. Yeah, that's sort of, as Scott knows, I mean, I'm learning more every time I hang out with you, but that's sort of my initial entry into it. Yeah, absolutely. Shark Tank. Yeah. And so you guys were just here on Shark Tank. Uh, Joe Parisi, uh, welcome. I guess I guess second welcome. Welcome back to the Thank show. You. Welcome Thank to the you. show. You were on my original show. You wore a mink coat, which is why we made a joke. Yep. Uh, it was a fake <laughs> mink like a startup would wear. Um, and so you are here now uh, fresh off of about the most PR you could possibly get. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. When I last talked to you, it was like just trying to get things rolling. Like it was, just, we were just trying to yep. get headways. What is it like today when you look back on on where you are versus when we first start talking? I mean, just um, take me through the the journey, I guess. You know, it's it's weird when you when you're building the company, you you're so heads down day in and day out that like you rarely actually pick your head up and say, "Holy, you know, holy cow!" Like a year ago, we were actually here. You know, because like the grind is so intense mm-hmm. and it's so constant that like, um, you know, it's actually important to step back sometimes and realize how much progress you've made in, in just a year or in just two years. And so um, you're right. You know, the last time we were on the show, I think we had just brought the product to market. We were yeah. just trying to get it live. And we came on the show hoping that we could get a couple sales that week, yeah. you know. And um, and so now we're looking at... Uh, I don't know, like I was saying, I mean, after the tank now, we're seeing several orders an hour constantly, really? like even now, you know? And so uh, it's pretty awesome. I would know? say so. It's pretty wow. awesome. Yeah, so you guys were on Friday's episode of Shark Tank. Yep. Barbara invested. Correct. Mm-hmm. And But you, I don't know how much you can say behind the scenes of what happened, but can you give us a little bit of some stuff maybe we didn't see? Um, yeah, I mean, like je- what most people don't realize is the pitch is usually at least an hour long. So most of them go one to two hours. And, you know, what you're watching is the 15 minutes that they've cut out and put together to create uh, a Hollywood segment, Mm -hmm. you know, so. um, So if your llama doesn't shit on the set. (laughs) Right. Right. (laughs) Which did happen. It really did? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah, it did. Several times. Several times. (laughs) Several times. Because they only trust one of them. Right. It's fully loaded. And the. uh, (laughs) 
<laughs> but I remember who you know, feeds your llama before right? you go make a pitch. That's what that's, I told. That's him. llama behavior one on one. I had a trailer full of hay. I was like, this is going to be a disaster. Rookie behavior. <laughs> you know? Yeah. If I remember, if I remember the quote exactly, uh, Kevin is sitting there and he looks and he's like, I think your llama just uh, let a little something go, and then you look over and you're like, we were told that's a possibility. <laughs> Like, we were, yeah. Like, holy cow. <laughs> but it was funny, too, because the producers, you, you get, uh, as you're moving through the process, eventually you get assigned a set of producers, and they're kind of like your, um, you know, your connection to the show, right? They only, you're the, they're the only people you interact with from the show, and we, you, they interact with you, and their job is to get you ready. And so they were like, man, how great would it be if we had a llama on the show? And I was like, well, think about all the things that could go wrong. And they were like, yeah, but think about the TV value. And I was like, all right, well, whatever. You know, let's do it. <laughs> I mean, they were they were right and wrong. Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they were right. And then it was funny because they were like, you know, we're putting together this high-level synopsis where they're like, all right, Llama walks out in a police outfit. Then you do this. And I'm like, Llama in a police outfit? And they're just like, call this number. <laughs> and, and like, some, it's some dude in Hollywood, and you call him up, and I'm like, hey, I need a Llama in a police outfit. And he's like, seven days. <laughs> and he's like, you know, like, like there's no, and I was like, and I even asked him, I was like, isn't this an odd request? And he said, he's it's like, like you have no nothing. idea what, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's like, this is Hollywood, bro. One. Yeah, he's like, this is the easiest request I've gotten this week, yeah. you know? So yeah. To date, that's still the most expensive article of clothing yeah. that I think either of us have bought. Yeah, because oh. we, we had to get, like, a custom-tailored, you know, They police. make you pay for this? That's what. That's the one thing that I don't really care for is, the, is that every startup pays for their own setup on the tank. Oh. So, like, you know, for me, it's like, hey, if we're trying to show all these companies in the same light, you, uh, a company with a billion dollar access to a billion dollars shouldn't be able to display themselves more favorably than than a, just a guy who's got an idea who's trying to. Not get to going. mention that yeah. you paid yeah. for a llama who's going to go on yeah. there. Not that they need the the, the clicks, but yeah. the reason the show is successful is because half the time it's the absurdity, right? That is the people that go out there like the, the pitches. Like I love the fitness ones, or like the, yeah. the like the pills are going to help you. Things it's like, oh right. my god, right. like, this is just unbelievable. Well, I expected them to say, look, everyone has like a five k budget, yeah, right, or something. And this mm -hmm. way, you would know. And if you want to go over that, you can or something. Yeah. But I expected like some type of cap because like what's stopping me mm -hmm. as a hundred million dollar company from just like. But I guess maybe that's what they want. They want you to just blow it out so that it's super. Well, yeah, it helps and, them, of yeah. course. So. Wow. But it was, uh, it was surprisingly affordable. The demand for llama is low. That's good to know. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah. Good to know. We didn't have to hedge that one. <laughs> so now, you know, you guys were on the show. You're getting a bunch of orders an hour. What's next? What's the next steps for you guys? Um, actually, Adam and I were talking about that on the way here. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's all about it's all about growth, I mean, right? We, we looked at each other in the car. We're like, uh, exit strategy. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So how quickly can we sell this? Turn no. this into a llama <laughs> farm. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, right now we're just focused on, I mean, we'll probably move into a Series A of financing, you know, do a really strong Series A, which I think will be awesome for Chicago. Um, and then, uh, you know, we just focus on customer acquisition. And I think from here we'll probably be able to line up some. What's nice about the tank is the amount of market awareness you get and the amount of market penetration you get. Um, it allows a startup the ability to test your message against a very broad audience, which normally you do not have the budget for. Right. Um, you know, you have to be hyper, hyper niche because that's all you can afford. If I pick a, a, a super small sliver of the market, I can always figure out how to reach them consistently, affordably, yep. repeatably, whatever. But you don't have the opportunity to run a commercial for 500 grand and hope it works. Right. So this was kind of cool because um, something we haven't done yet, but something I'm really excited to do is look at everyone who signed up and say, who are these people yeah. and see what jumps out. You know, there might be I, I know there is going to be some weird piece of data that no one expected, where all of a sudden we're like, man, half of these people are plumbers, yeah. right? Yeah. Or you know, something like that you just don't think about. Yeah. And so yeah. that's kind of the cool uh, opportunity. We're hoping so. half are realtors. That, that would, that would we, match we, that. Well, you would think. But I mean, we already have a lot no, of market saturation that's, that's there, so I'm hoping right. it's something else. So we're sort of starting backwards a little bit here, but like for those who don't watch yeah. Shark Tank, what is Guard Llama? I'll let Adam uh, pitch it. Yeah, so Guard Llama is a Hold on, the llama just took a shit again. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> 
Uh, they told me you might do that. Uh, <laughs> uh, Guard Llama, it's a personal emergency response system. So in the event of emergency, uh, let's say you can't get to your phone and dial 911, you actually lift the lid to this device, or let's say you're in a skiing accident. Uh, I was. The ski patrol wouldn't come get me. Well, she go. can't push they, the they button. You broke her fingers. <laughs> That's she only broke too. three. If I oh, toes. Toes. Get your toes That's right. in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pinky <laughs> thumb, pinky thumb. It only yeah. takes two fingers, so you would have been Ah, perfect. Uh, but in the event of that emergency, you press this button two times, and it's going to send your GPS location, your security profile, any medical information you want to share, any allergies, chronic medical illnesses, and it sends that to our dispatch center. Now our dispatch center is 24-7. You all listed and federally certified. So as soon as they get your information, um, we're going to give you a call. And if you ignore that that call, we're going to send the police uh, to your exact GPS location, uh, latitude and longitude. And here's the part that I love the absolute best. It, it for the for the next question that this was on the show as well. Uh, well, wait a minute. The phone starts ringing. You're not going to be able to answer it, right. or if there's someone there, and they're like, "Oh, answer it," and like try to put like you, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Or something. So then they know about it. But you guys have this set up so that I can put in my safety code to wipe off of it, or I could put in a false safety code and it'd still say like, yeah, thanks, you know, all good, no one's coming, mm-hmm. and then the, the idiot with the knife behind you is like, oh, <laughs> good, and then, you know, assholes in a in a sling shortly thereafter. Yeah, Hopefully, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. It's uh, called the distress code. It's, it's kind of a, a home security standard, but it's just a four-digit pin, any four-digit pin besides the actual one that will disarm the yep. system, and we're going to send the police. It'll look like the application is shut down. Um, but you can rest assured that we're on our way. And were you super, I think Mark Cuban said initially after your pitch, this sucks. Mm-hmm. Were you just super deflated after Thanks that? Thanks for how'd you feel? Yeah. No, uh, <laughs> not really. I mean, because like, um, like he, he was actually pretty nice. Uh, like yeah. over, like overall, I he's mean, a nice guy. I've been telling you, Scott. Just, yeah, except the hair yeah. dye. I can't. I can't. <laughs> the sheen. Um, and, and also like, um. I don't know. I mean, you do this long enough. I mean, I've, I've pitched this product to hundreds of people, right? You hear everything and you develop pretty thick skin. And, you know, you get to a point where you're just like, all right, you don't like it. Next. You don't like it. Next. Oh, you mm-hmm. like it. OK, let's, you know, let's do business. So, mm-hmm. like, uh, I don't know. It would be hard to deflate me at this point. It's just kind of like, all right, it's not for you. But Barbara likes it. Perfect. Thanks. You know, it's, you know, what's yeah. funny you know. is uh, so we were going to have you on the show on Saturday, the live show. And we had we took some calls. Yep. Uh, and so during the episode, uh, I sort of recapped what what happened for you guys. And we took a call from a woman named Nancy. Our forever is going to be known as number two. That was our second phone call of all time. Uh-huh. Tom is number one. Uh, and <laughs> and Nancy, Nancy was like, that Mark Cuban, he's such a jerk. Uh-huh. She's like, I can't believe that he would tell these poor guys that their toy was crap. Oh, I love Nancy. <laughs> Nancy, and that's I was awesome. Like, I'm going to send her a free device. Yeah. I was, I was got like, her information. I was like, I don't think they, I don't, I don't know if they're more offended at him calling out the product or you calling it a toy. I like, know. Yeah. like, what the right. hell? That's going like on? a pet peeve of mine. I hate when people call it like uh, when people are ta- referring that's to like a, a business or a startup, and they're like, oh, you've got a really great project on your hands. Yeah. Oh, right, like, right. oh, tell them about your project. Like, like it's not a project. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it pays the bills. I employ people. We have a product that saves people's lives. Even if I didn't save, pe- even if I just had a normal product, we yeah. have a product in market. Like a show called Technology. Use it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not. Ex- it's not a project. You know, yeah. it's a company. It's a business. Yeah. Well, I responded and said, or when they say like, tell us about your idea. Like, it's not an idea. It's it's real. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, so this is the thing. Like, and, and I mean, that's the whole point of the doing the Saturday show with them is to sort of let people know that there's more to it than this. I think, you know, one of the first, we were talking about building this show and we're talking about the production group and everyone at WGN here. Uh, when we were building the show and somebody told me a story about uh, someone calling in and talking about the triple W. And I was like, what the hell is a triple W? What like, is that? Yeah. World Wide Web. <laughs> they're calling the triple w and, and this lady, this lady calls in and she's like, she's on one of their shows that was on on Saturdays prior to me. And she was like, She's like, oh, yeah, there's all these new websites popping up in Chicago. And I was just like, holy <laughs> hell. So we, All those internet companies. All those, there's, a, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of internets out there. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, it's my job to wrangle the internets and, <laughs> and help help tell one story. Make so sure people, we don't run out of internet. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to run out of the fibers, you know. Uh, you know, it's like a balloon. It'll just go away. So, you know, so it is important to, like, to explain to people, like, that – it's a, it was an idea mm-hmm. at one point, mm-hmm. and maybe it was a project to prove or disprove the idea, but it's now a company, and then that company can grow into a much larger company, which builds multiple products and, and you know mm-hmm. turns into what you know to be business. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so that's the main point of the show. So what I, when I was talking to her, I was like, you know, on one hand, I agree. You know, Mark, I thought Mark Cuban, it's a little, it's, it's hard because they, they edit all this stuff. You right. Know? But 
it's a little reckless on national TV in front of millions of viewers to just outright say that's a piece of crap yeah mm-hmm. and then not say why like not be like you know yeah. what like Chris Saka kind of doubled back on a little bit yeah. he was like you know it's got he called it warts which is a word that's like moist I hate that word like, just, <laughs> I don't ever want to hear the word both of those words I just you can't believe I just said that on the show <laughs> but anyway uh, he said supple. it's got all these different yeah supple's another one <laughs> so I he's like, like supple. I like it too <laughs> yeah I mean I would buy tongue. something that's supple because yeah. you, you don't get a lot of double p's in, in words mm-hmm. no you don't mm-hmm. yeah supple. but that's like that's snap one one like. yeah snap I like snap yeah I like that well anyway. I like the word chunky if we're like, Ooh, I like chunky, chunky oh, I too I love that word I wrote a whole essay on the word chunky I think really you'll have to send that to me <laughs> we'll have yeah. to find it. I'll yeah, have we'll, to. Okay. Yeah. All right. Unreal. Anyway. Yeah. So <laughs> we regard- digress. <laughs> regardless, he he sort of qualified why he didn't like it. Right. And Cuban didn't. So this lady, she says all this, and I said at the end of the day, I said I think it's reckless to just go out and say like, boom, this is crap, and yeah. not qualify mm-hmm. it. But at the same time, what I said to her was speaking for you was like, listen, if you can't handle that and mm-hmm. that like shakes you up, and then the rest of your thing, like I wouldn't invest in you. Quite honestly, like I yeah. I might tell you even if I thought the product was fine that it's a piece of garbage or you're a piece of garbage. Mm-hmm. Because I want to see how you react to that, and if you take it, if you right. quit on it, then quite honestly, you're probably not cut out for this. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you know, I guess and that's, that's what sucks about post production is like he did qualify it. Like yeah. he told me what he didn't like. Well, yeah, because it. it's not mm-hmm. good stuff like TV. That. And honestly, like like I said, you know, you go out there knowing that you're dealing with four people who are they're genuinely good people, right? They're like you would never meet them on the street, and they would be like, "Fuck." Coming from uh, the radio world, the I know. It's very here. scary, but you do, do yeah. that. Yeah. Are you allowed to swear on here? You can. Yeah, I just I dropped the S-bomb oh. twice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, okay. but you're never going to see him and have him be, just be like, fuck you, right? This right. is bad, right? right? They're nice people, right? And right. they've... And they're charismatic, and they've they've you know they've done as well as they have as as well as they have. God, I'm glad of, I didn't have you on Saturday. <laughs> 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 right. Yeah, right on the. Uh, but because you know, so like uh, everything that they said to me while I was out there, I took with a grain of salt. Anyway. You so my, my last piece, we got to wrap up here. My last piece, I want to ask you those, you know, kind of fill us in. It's been what, how many, five months since you did since the actual recording? Four months, six months? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, November. Nine, nine months. Nine months, yeah. nine months, yeah. nine oh, months wow. ago since they did this. I was going to say, you look, you know, you look healthier. You know? Oh yeah. Uh, you look well rested. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, what has it been like dealing with you? Cause, Cause you can actually answer this now. You've been dealing with Barbara for the better part of nine months. What has yeah. it been like to deal with Barbara and what has been the impact from a business standpoint, not a publicity standpoint? Well, well, to be honest, like, um, it was pretty dark until like last month. So, you know, um, it was my, uh, not understanding, but it was, it's my, um, you know, feeling that basically she was following up with companies as they were airing yeah. and starting to push diligence forward in order of priority, Sure, mm-hmm. you know, because, um, her job is to get deals done before it airs. So um, do you get the cash? Have you, you guys had the cash for a while or not? No, no, not even yet. We're still in diligence. Are you kidding? Oh. Yeah. yeah. So how long before, I mean, technically it could still fall apart. I mean, it's not yeah, going Yeah, theoretically. But. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, you know, I mean, it's just, there's, it's like anything else, right? She's got a, uh, an investment thesis that she's got to check all the boxes. Yeah. And, you know, when everyone's busy, like you're trying to get things back and forth as quickly as you can. But I mean, you know, that's, that's just the way it is. So, um, but yeah, I mean, she like picked up the pace four weeks ago or whatever. Yep. And that's when suddenly it was like, hey, we need X, Y, and Z, right? And it was like... Well, okay, she well, knows, of course. Yeah. I mean, yeah. she knows that there's going to be a yeah. whole bunch more uh, attention on this. Right. right. You know, mm-hmm. so I mean, they, right. you get like... Well, I guess you're not buying dinner then. <laughs> no, it's only 100 grand. I know. We were all going to go out for- We did raise 100 grand last week anyway, though, from a guy who owns a security center in Texas, so that was pretty oh, cool. Oh, nice. Yeah. Very cool. That's, yeah. that's, cool. that's 200. Really nice. yeah. Now you're at 200. You definitely right? dinner. Do that yeah, come on. I can definitely get, get a yeah. dinner. Yeah, yeah, you know, no, never, mind, never mind the little one at home. That's, you know. Yeah, no, he doesn't eat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's I've got him. He's one and a half. I got him on breast milk still just so that oh, you well, know, then we that's keep like, the bills down. What a, yeah. yeah. See, that would right? great. I said, until you're three or four and you can contribute back to this family, you're not getting any food out of, out of outside Are you Greek? That's the way to do it. No. <laughs> Sicilian. So, so. Same thing. Yeah, may as well. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. Well, I'm glad. Uh, we'll have to have you come on the live show again at some point and talk about when you let me know when you get the money. Okay. Mm-hmm. When you get the money, <laughs> you come on that show and, and sort and of cut. Scott wants a cut. I yeah. want to cut. No, I just I want to get a, a kind of a catch up on like I, wa- I really am interested to know what it's like on the business end of this because mm-hmm. I mean, we've I've dealt with Damon John before and, mm-hmm. and stuff and, and not. Uh, for you know, not for Shark Tank, but for other projects that I was working on. Projects. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually a project. It wasn't yeah. a start. It was. It, they're still not a startup. That's a whole other story. But she has been really cool. <laughs> like even though it hasn't closed um, yet, she's like, 
hey, you know, night of, if you need me to do things on social, let me know. Yeah. I'm happy to do that. If you need intros to X, Y, and Z, let me know. I'm happy. So it's almost like we're kind of operating like it's closed. Yeah. And she's totally well, cool. You might with, as well. I mean, you know, it's not like you're getting, I mean, you're getting some value out of it, but you yeah. also, you know, do, you are an investment. Like at the end of the day, right. you're bringing up, you know, sometimes I think people forget about this. It's like, a, like they say, I jokingly said the winners of, cause I figured people would get it. <laughs> no, seriously. Cause like the average person, I think they look at this as like a contest, like, Oh, the winner of yeah. whatever. Yeah. It's like, mm -hmm. this isn't a win. Like no. she's putting money in my company with right. the expectation. That I'm right. going to give her a ton of like five times change. back. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Taking well, like a quarter of what I've been. Yeah. yeah. And those yeah. follow up shows that a lot of them do fall right? through yeah. or like a lot of things can happen in between yep. when the show airs and when it actually, you know, goes through with everything. Yeah. So that's actually one of the issues with, uh, uh, Shark Tank is that they look at you as like a reality star and not the CEO of a life saving company. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really um, getting past that view of being just a reality show. I can't, you know, I don't, I don't want to jump on this. They'll probably have Craig edit this out at the end of this, but I, I can't help it because uh, this is one of those things that I think is one of the one reasons why tech has been a challenge in the media space in particular is because it does come with a little bit of a barrier. You have to have kind of gone through it to really mm -hmm. get it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't mean tech, but entrepreneurship and tech. Like you really have to have like fought in the trenches and been broke right. and work your way up to do this and take on those risks that you're taking to be able to really tell the story. And I think one of the reasons that you'll see Many media companies, whether it's Cranes or Inno or even Tr Tribune's Blue Sky, one of the reasons I think that they have a hard time getting real traction to readers is the stories are being written by people who don't understand the significance of what they're writing about. And they tell a story the way they would tell a story about a Fortune 500 company. Like, oh, mm -hmm. you know, they, they're worth a billion dollars. And yeah. it's like, uh, they yeah, I raised $60,000 raised 60, yeah. uh, for 0.1%. <laughs> it's not quite... Right. And yeah. growth is consistent and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, like, it, you got to tell the narrative. It doesn't make any yeah. sense. Yeah. And, and they, they don't get it. And then there's, of course, the whole tech part of it, too, mm -hmm. which is a whole other thing. So I, I think that one of the challenges with where I'm going with this, one of the challenges with like Shark Tank even is as it's gotten bigger, they've had to hire more producers and make more of a production, which is mm -hmm. why you get this stupid intro that they do now where they all have like their own little persona. And it's, yeah. <laughs> it's made me stop watching the show until you were on it again. Thank you. Because I'm such a huge fan of I'm a huge fan of you, but I'm a huge fan of, of Shark Tank. Thank I was you. a bigger fan in the past because it wasn't so produced. Yeah. And now I think when they have all these producers on, they're calling you, they're trying to prep you like a show. Yeah. And not like and a as business. An entrepreneur too, like something that I hate is like <laughs> and it happens a lot, but I hate just being like a, an entertainment pawn. You know, okay. like, you yeah. know, for like, you're so good at it, though. for pitch competitions <laughs> and for like all this stuff where people are just like, oh, you're an entrepreneur. So can you entertain like my group of people for an hour and we'll give you a hundred dollars or something? You know, it's just like, I don't know. I'm not like who's uh, paying. I'm that's not a pretty good deal. Well, I bring like people for, on our stage for free, <laughs> like for pitch competitions. Yeah. I'll see like a big company will be like, oh, this is perfect. We'll offer these entrepreneurs 10 grand to come up here and pitch to all the people that we invited. That will be oh, our yeah. source of entertainment. <clears throat> and then like. Not like a Technori showcase. No, thing. no, not like that. No, but you know, like, uh, no. like, cause I'll see, there was one in Wisconsin that did it. It was like some big ass company who yeah. wrote some, no, like, this is actually a, a common chat. thing. They bring you in as like some sort of sketch, yeah. essentially. Right. And it's like, uh, you yeah. know, I wow. actually take myself seriously. Although, truthfully, there's a lot of shitty companies. Yeah. And if I ran a successful business, which I don't think we're there yet, but it someday we hopefully will be, I would pay crappy business owners to come in and, like a jester and make yeah. me laugh. Yeah. Make me laugh. Yeah. Throw fruit at Dance, <laughs> clown. Dance. Dance, clown. Exactly. You, know. you guys. I'm such <laughs> an <laughs> evil, evil person. But anyway, so this this show is a complete, complete disaster. <laughs> um, but it was a I'll handle of, that in post. But this was like, a yeah, yeah. Good luck. Craig's going to be here for the weekend. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. We should say guardlama.com. There you I mean, go. Oh yes. Our yes. PR so, person told us to say the yes. triple yeah. W. I was gonna. I, I was. I was gonna say where do I people go to find Guard Llama? Triple W. Guard the Guard Llama. It can be the Guard Llama, but we actually bought Guard Llama from a guy who had it since 1998. Ah. Uh, so that he bought yeah. as a joke for his friends. Yeah, which was awesome. Not a joke. That took though, me two years nice. to get a hold of. <laughs> yeah. Well, Got that rid was of very the smart. Though. That was good. Yeah. And yeah. Llama has two L's, so. Yeah. G-U-A-R-D-L-L-A-M-A dot com. Awesome. This is great. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Yeah, Thanks, guys. Thanks for having awesome. us, man. Absolutely.